I'm Fran Boyle and I'm a medical oncologist at the MATA Hospital in Sydney and I also work at the University of Sydney in a research and teaching role. Uh, the research areas I'm interested in are clinical trials of new anti-cancer drugs, uh, supportive care strategies and also improving communication between doctors and patients. I've been looking after women with secondary breast cancer for 20 years now and in that time I've seen the most amazing changes. Uh, it used to be all the one disease and clearly it's not. We treat people with HER2 positive disease completely differently to people with hormonal uh, breast cancer and we develop drugs for different kinds of breast cancer, not just for people with metastases. So the things that have changed are that people live a lot longer that their quality of life is better, that they're able to fulfil their goals, to travel and to do things with their families in ways that we would never have imagined uh, when I first started treating secondary breast cancer. And yet the frustration is we're not there yet. There are still very few people who, you know, get out of treatment, finish, go on to a normal life. And I think that is going to increase with time. I think we are going to see people cured of this disease hopefully in my working lifetime. But in the meantime, we've transformed a rapidly fatal disease into a disease where mostly people can live well, provided they have good support from a treatment team and uh, getting good support from their families. So there's been a dramatic change and I expect further dramatic change over the next decade or so. One of the things that's very different between metastatic breast cancer and early breast cancer is that it's not a one-off treatment. Uh, tr one treatment will be used as long as it's being effective and then women will switch to something else and then to something else, a little bit like stepping stones uh, along a pathway. And that challenge of thinking, am I going to be on continuous treatment, I think is something quite confronting uh, at the beginning. So our job is to make the decisions about moving from one treatment to another as um, untraumatic as possible, uh, to try and make those decisions uh, when the woman's not sick, uh, when we see a change on a scan or in a blood test, and to, to make that switch at a time when we've got you know, plenty of time to think about it, rather than having to make that a time of great stress. Communication is always vital in good health care, but I think in looking after patients with metastatic breast cancer, it's even more important uh, than it is in early disease, where pretty much things go according to the recipe a lot of the time. You can get surprises. Things can happen a little bit unexpectedly, and women need to be confident that if they're not well and something odd is happening, that they can pick up the phone, call the oncologist's office, get some help, not just wait for a routine appointment to come up uh, and, you know, if all is well, that's great. But if there's an unusual symptom, it's very important that that's being communicated. So being confident to be able to say, mm, you know, this isn't what I was expecting, um, that's, that's very important. In medicine, chronic diseases are things that you can treat with medication and keep people alive for long periods of time but you usually can't make them go away completely. So there are some good examples that you'll be familiar with diabetes, for instance. People used to die of diabetes, they don't now. They actually have treatment, they have to take it every day, and sometimes it's pretty uncomfortable. And they can get complications of diabetes, some of which they might die from, but they usually have a much more extended survival than they used to do. If they decide that they don't want to take medicine or look after themselves, then things go very badly for them. So it's annoying that you have to stay on top of things and you need to have regular medical care. But breast cancer has become much more like that. It's become the kind of disease where staying on top of it, having regular medical attention and medication of various kinds keeps people alive, uh, but doesn't really allow them to just have treatment once and go. So appendicitis, not a chronic disease. You have an operation, it's fixed, you're gone. Diabetes and breast cancer, much more like a chronic disease.